Good morning. Today I actually feel more tired than I did yesterday. And if that doesn't make sense to you, imagine how I feel. But I'm thinking it is like a mix between just having had my infusion, which always drained me the first day, and then having pain yesterday and uh, numerous bathroom trips. So I think I just extra drained myself. <laughs> As much as I've actually tried to sit up and get out of bed, I just do not have the energy. I got this little treasure with me though. Keeping me company and keeping me warm because she's like a freaking nuclear reactor. She's so warm. On a different note, I'm actually wide awake now because my husband's home. <laughs> I told you yesterday he was getting up at 4 because he actually had to go into work a little earlier today and he came back at around a quarter to 8 because he wasn't needed at work anymore. They all got released and then they have to go back at 9. I never know when he's going to be home. His show time always varies as well as his release time. If you watched my first video, this goes to show that planning a day-to-day -day life is tricky when it comes to the military life. Anyway, since he's home and I always like to spend as much time as possible with him when he's here, I'm gonna make an extra effort to get up, get ready, and start the day. The hubby is off to work again, which means that now I can officially start my day. Before breakfast, I thought I would check my glucose levels just to make sure since I was feeling so tired. Just wanted to dot all my I's, cross all my T's, make sure there's nothing else other than just simply feeling drained from the infusion and from my symptoms yesterday. It was at uh, 94, which is not terrible because fasting glucose is acceptable below 100. I just prefer those numbers to be a little lower. Normally, my fasting glucose is in the 80s, but since I was on prednisone just last week, and I don't know how long it takes for prednisone to completely leave the system, I don't know if that's what's still messing with my glucose levels. It went as high as 158 before a meal in the middle of the day once. So I know that it's just gonna fluctuate and I'm staying calm for now. But I thought I wouldn't have to keep checking my glucose levels at this point. I really wanted that to stop. Can you hear the stove making that noise? Gonna have to add that to my to-do list for today because I did try submitting a maintenance slip, but the website wasn't working. I'm gonna have to try that again. Anyway, got my breakfast going. I'm gonna pay some bills, submit my volunteer hours because today's the last day, enroll some customers in the seasonal catalog, and do my morning reflection, social media time, and email time while I eat. After that, I'll get to putting away my nurse's station, the dishes, sweat for the floor because my husky already shed all over the floor, and then prepare for today's tutoring session. I just finished a rough draft of yesterday's recovery day. So while I listen to the audio, make sure that there's nothing that needs tweaking. I'm gonna take my medicine, my supplements, and tidy up the kitchen a little bit because even though it's on the bottom of my to-do list, I really don't like dishes piling up. It just, I can't. Okay, audio is done. I did find one mistake, already fixed it. In the meantime, you saw that I loaded the dishwasher and sanitized the countertops. Now I'm just going to put the finishing touches on that video and continue with paying the bills and everything else I mentioned before that I have to do. Video is now uploading to YouTube. The doggies are outside and I'm going to take a little <coughs> break gonna have myself a little jello right now before i make lunch bills are paid I checked with the people with my federal student loan and they said that it was just a mistake so they're processing my application i have yet to submit my volunteer hours but i'm hoping to get that done during lunch depending on how lunch goes and how i feel afterwards i'll take down the nurse's station and prepare for this afternoon's tutoring session. I also tried calling 
my primary's office and <coughs> it went to voicemail. I'm gonna try a little later to see if I can reach them because this heart thing is getting a little bothersome. The cough is still there, not really getting any better, thinking that I'm taking that medication in vain and I can't stand taking medications that I do not need. I'm gonna try to reach her in a little bit again. Other than the cough and the palpitations, the day seems to be going okay, feeling a little better, a little more energetic than this morning, but I don't wanna push it after what happened yesterday. Just gonna take things easy and be kind to my body. Gabby also told me this morning that he's supposedly <laughs> getting released at noon. I say supposedly laughing because a lot of times they say they're going to get released at 3 and he still gets released at 5 and 5.30. But I don't complain too much because I know there are people who actually leave work at around 8 or 9 and they actually go into work at around 6. But those are higher positions, like higher level commanders and people in charge. I don't envy them, but it would be nice that if they said <coughs> that they're getting released early, he would come home early. It's 12.30 and I'm still waiting for him to tell me that he's on his way home. Guess who's still not home at 1.10 in the afternoon who was supposedly getting released at noon. And lunch is almost done. I just spent a little while on the phone with my mom while I made lunch. These two are waiting for me to drop something on the floor. I tried calling my doctor's office again and it just keeps going to voicemail. So I'm gonna try calling her <coughs> after hours number. Depending on how much I'm coughing, I'm gonna either do the tutoring session and then ask my husband to take me to the hospital or go to the hospital and <coughs> unfortunately <coughs> cancel the tutoring session that I really don't wanna cancel. It's at four in the afternoon, it's three hours away, so I'm just kinda hoping this will subside. I really don't want to do the albuterol because my heart rate's already pretty elevated. <coughs> I had to come into the bedroom because <coughs> I was on the phone with my doctor and the maintenance guy showed up to fix the heater. We're going to get hot water. But yes, my doctor said she's switching me off Advair. Yay! <laughs> I can't stand it. Like right now, <coughs> I was on the phone with her. My heart rate is one... 20 just standing up just talking it's 120 and it's beating really hard and she said okay i'm gonna switch you off the advair but she said i can use the albuterol if i cough too much even if i'm breathing um okay if i can breathe deeply if i can breathe clearly even if i'm coughing that still indicates some respiratory issues i don't understand how that works but that's why she's the doctor so i'm gonna take the albuterol i don't like it Hopefully it'll calm down this coughing because it's driving <coughs> it's driving me insane. And I have my tutoring session in one hour and 15 minutes. I have yet to prepare for it. So I'm just gonna do that inhalation and have it work before I go to the kid's house because I don't want to be coughing in his face the whole time. I failed in my household chores, but he doesn't care. He just picks it up. Thank you. I just confirmed that my doctor is good and she knows what she's talking about. I used the albuterol and five minutes later, I stopped coughing. So it seems it is a respiratory issue. I just noticed the glare in my glasses. I don't understand how this works and she actually doesn't even know if it's just um, related to the URI that I had last month or if it's actually something Crohn's related because if it is inflammation in this area, it could be related but I do have my doctor's appointment with my gastroenterologist later this month. I can discuss that with him and see if there's anything else that needs to be done. My heart rate should regulate hopefully very soon. And in the meantime, I'm just going to keep going with my life like I want to. I'm in my office right now. Even though you've already seen me on the toilet and we have talked about poo, I actually don't feel comfortable enough yet showing you my messy room. If you let me know that you have a messy room in your house too, I'll show you mine. I'm gonna get the things ready for the tutoring session, do my makeup, and I will be on my way. I'm getting ready to go to that tutoring session and I got a message from the mom asking if I could go half an hour <coughs> later, which 
I honestly don't mind, especially coming from me, someone who's chronically ill, where I've had to postpone things or delay them or move them up. I can understand. Honestly, it doesn't bother me that much, and especially if it works to my benefit. Like right now, where I got a little set back with everything that's been going on, that gives me a little extra time to get ready to fix this, which I haven't had time or energy to <laughs> work with. I don't mind really just sharing this moment because if you've ever had those moments where things change on you at the last minute, don't fret, don't get frustrated, rather see how you can turn it into a positive, see how you can take advantage of it and how it works to your benefit. What a difference 15 minutes make, huh? Check this out. I know it's probably not perfectly blended, but as you can probably tell from the camera, my hands are still shaking. So I was trying to do precise work with shaky hands. This is the best I could do. I still have 20 more minutes before I have to leave. So I'm going to do my nails and work on a post for my home business account on Instagram because I took a few pictures of this and I'm gonna try to do a post before I go to. Otherwise I'll just post it tonight, it's not urgent. But you just now got a glimpse into how I try to do many things at once throughout the day, just as my day goes. I am on my way out, so exciting. I love teaching, I cannot tell you. I feel like I was born to do that. Why I can't be back in a classroom setting is beyond me, but maybe it's just not the right time. Bye, Luna. Here comes Lali. Bye, Lali. Te puesta bien. On my way out. I'll be back in about an hour and a half. The tricky thing about tutoring your friend's kids is that they're your friends. So even if the tutoring session is for like an hour, we spend another hour just chatting. In all fairness, we did have to catch up too. I hadn't seen her since November because we had gone home for Thanksgiving and my birthday. And then in December I got sick and it is now the 15th and now I'm seeing her. So we had a lot to catch up on, but yeah, I'm on my way home. It felt so great. Oop, my light went out. It felt so great to go back to this and help a child. It's just so gratifying to me. I've always thought this was my passion. I find great pleasure in doing what I do. I just wish I could do this all the time. We are running a little late tonight. <laughs> Normally we try to be in bed by 10 so that we can get at least six hours of sleep, but <sighs> we just keep doing one thing after the other. And right now he's doing some work on the computer for his job. <clears throat> I'm just tidying up the house before bed. I removed the nurse's station. And I also picked up some random things here and there just to keep the house tidy. After I got home, my husband had already made dinner, so we sat down to dinner on one with a little Netflix. Then I started tomorrow's tutoring class, and I submitted my volunteer hours, and I started tomorrow's vlog. This is actually the first day since December that I've checked off everything on my to-do list. This is a day of triumph for me and I celebrate it by myself but I celebrate it because when it's difficult to accomplish the small things or what others might deem small things like keeping the house clean or simply sending out an email, everything else starts to weigh on you. And when days like today happen, where everything gets accomplished, you just feel like Superman or Wonder Woman or just like the strongest person on the planet. So that is me today. I am happy. I did everything on my to-do list. I would clap on camera, but I need my other hand. <laughs> Ooh, silent clap. <laughs> Health-wise, I am feeling better with my Crohn's symptoms. I haven't gone to the bathroom today, which is, eh, could go either way tomorrow, but no pain, no bloating. Got my appetite back somewhat. And the only bothersome thing really is the respiratory whatever it is because it's not a URI and it's not asthma and we don't know what it is. My bronchial tubes are just inflamed, but I got the Advair, <coughs> there you go. 
I got the adverb removed from my medication list. Tomorrow, I'll hopefully go pick up my new prescription that'll hopefully make this go away for good. But in the meantime, albuterol seems to be doing a pretty good job at keeping the cough under control and it works instantly. So I'm happy to have some relief. And as far as my heart rate goes, it's still pretty high. Just putting away the nurse's station got it to about 120 which is not great, but to then it kind of goes back down and it'll take some time for my heart rate to go back to normal, but I am very hopeful that it's gonna happen quick. Now it's off to remove my makeup, tuck the doggies into sleep, and off to bed for both of us. So I hope you guys had a wonderful day too. I'll see you tomorrow.